Welcome back to the Matchbox Podcast. I am your host, Jay Pons. I've got one of the craziest guys from Walsall sitting next to me. This guy is a menace to the streets. He's got balls of steel, yeah. And he's been banned from Walsall Town. Please give it up for 24 Ryan Cartrell. Yes sir, what's going on bro? I'm great bro, how are you? Listen, I'm fine man, I know we're a little bit late starting but life happens. I, I understand it happens. Life happens, these train strikers man, they want to delay everyone's day. I was going to join the strikes. Why? Why are you going to join the strikes? For a video on it. <laughs> <laughs> the teachers as well wanted to dress up as a teacher and just like... So fuck the schools. Yeah, you, you must you must have mad ideas for loads of different types of videos, don't you? Do a lot of shit, bro. Yeah, a lot of shit goes on in my mind. Yeah, no, I, I, I can imagine. Well, they also say, like, clout is quite a dangerous drug, bruv. And you do some really crazy shit, as we've seen from your videos. Yes. What would you say is, like... Actually, nah, let me rephrase that. Do you think what you do is too much? Or do you think the clout and the views are worth it? First of all, yeah... Oh, here uh, we go. Here we go. I'm not. Ch I'm not chasing no clout. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Clout is not what I want. But the reason I'm doing these mad things that make you think like, what the fuck, is because I'm trying to show people I can do things that you can't. And like, I like that. When okay. people see that, they're interested. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm trying to do the most <clears throat> extravagant things to just like blow your mind. Is want to know more. Mm -hmm. And that's how I feel is the best way of getting out a town where there's just nothing there. Nothing, nothing going on. So like, gotta make something. Are you trying to like create windows of opportunity in somewhere where there's like nothing really much going on? Yeah, and it's work to be honest. Like the shit that I've done has opened up a lot of shit. Like my TikTok is going really good nowadays. My YouTube mm -hmm. is blowing up as well. Mm -hmm. It's just about keeping the consistency now. So t t like, tell me about Warsaw. Like, why, why is it, is it? Do you think it's so dead? Because uh, obviously that's your hometown, isn't it? Uh, first of all, England is just a dead country. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Warsaw is just is just a town, this just impoverished town. Like there's nothing there at all except the art gallery and a cinema. <laughs> I like you know. How many I, times you been to that cinema, bro? I got, I got kicked out, man. <laughs> <laughs> got kicked out, bro. I've been there like a few times though. It's a nice cinema. It's a nice cinema. Okay, well we'll get into that because obviously you got kicked out of Warsaw town, but we'll we'll, we'll we'll leave a little pin on that. Where where do you get the confidence to do? The videos that you do because some of them are so outrageous like i was watching them i was like i was like what the fuck <laughs> how do you do that but i'm also i can't stop watching because it's just so i don't even want to say controversial it's just so out of the ordinary bro. where do you get the confidence to do that controversial is right though bro you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying like i'm trying to be controversial um the confidence where does that come from where does it come from i'm not gonna lie as a kid i used to be really shy I didn't like talking or nothing. I used to hate speaking out loud. Mm -hmm. I think when my conscious, I feel like my conscious flicked on when I was like 16 years old. And then it just made me go different, bro. It's like I, either I'm doing this or there's no way out. Mm -hmm. And like your confidence has to be overdosed. Do, do you feel like your back's a little bit against the wall? And it's like, I have to make this work. Yeah, there's no I, choice, bro. No make, choice. That work, it's either yeah. this or nothing. Mm. And like if I'm not doing the biggest things that people are doing in my town and other places. No it's, not, it's, not, it's no point. It's like not not worth half arsing and i'm not gonna yeah. lie the things i do it's not gonna be like my content forever it's just things just to get my name out there just to get attention it's just to get attention exactly, like, that's bro, it. we live in an uh, attention economy so you know you doing keeping it, attention that's it it is it is a, a retaining attention is the most important thing and obviously with your like types of videos it definitely like attracts attention i think your main job is retaining it and you know maybe doing different forms of content on the, along the way too so do you have different content in mind i had like um an awakening recently okay there i realized go. that some of my content is influencing bad things to people okay that that that's that's interesting because i wanted to ask like what do you think the most important thing is like to keep in mind when filming pranks in public and like how do you personally handle the negative like reactions the negative reactions i can't lie i don't pay attention to mm. But it does affect, not just me, but it affects other people as well. Because, like, kids be coming up to me telling me, like, yo, I love your shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm jumping on counters, going in the back of stores. Yeah. <laughs> so not, not all of it is good. But, like, the reason why I do that is to show you, you can do anything you want, you know what I'm saying? Don't be scared of shit. Like, I'll jump on a counter and just, just, just like, normal. Is it, like, that sort of message of, like, don't give a, like, fuck what people think? Of it is. Something? But now I'm, like, 
okay, I've shown that now, but I've shown it in, in a too menacing way, like so to extreme. Yeah, like extreme, don't yeah. just go do that for fun. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah. You know, I'm a, don't I'm, do this at home, kids. Bro, on, a, on a day to day, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't jump on counters. You know what I'm saying? It's mm, for the mm, video, mm. but um, I'm trying to. Like, I made a list of positive things and negative things, mm -hmm. and you know we're gonna try so differentiate between both of those. So w w where do you think? Not where do you think? Sorry, when do you f where do you think the line is of like is too far f for the video? Like, have you ever had a prank ah. go wrong? Oh or yeah, backfire, <laughs> and how did you handle that situation? I was trying to do um a fake employee prank, and you know how. Oh, foods. I've seen that. Yeah, oh, no, I saw the one in JD. That one, that one was alright. Like, I was in Bristol. You know what I'm saying? It was like no one knew who I was. Yeah, I yeah, just, yeah. You know, when, when I go to places where no one knows me, I like it more. Because, yeah, yeah, because yeah, no one knows you. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I can yeah, just yeah, do what yeah. I want. <laughs> And I was in Bristol, yeah, you know what I'm saying? They never find me. <laughs> but um Till now. <laughs> nah, I don't know. I, I changed my name, fam. It's, it's, oh yeah, that's true. That's true. My name used to be my government name, that's why. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's just bad having my government name out there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so what what how, like how did you handle like these sort the, Oh of... yeah, the Heron Foods thing. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to do a fake employee prank at Heron Foods. My mm -hmm. boy gave me the uniform. Anyway, we got into there, I got caught instantly. <laughs> Instantly, <laughs> instantly. Like I did one thing to someone. Like I took the shopping out of the bag yeah. and put it in someone else's. Then they just clocked onto me straight away. Okay, but how did you get the uniform to go there? Um, someone just hit me up saying I got it. I got plugs, bro. <laughs> you <laughs> clearly do because you got the JD one. You got the place <laughs> you just mentioned, bro. Like you got plugs. Yeah, everywhere. I got as the one. Mm. And do you, do you not just feel like anxiety doing what you do, or do you just try and like turn it off? Nah, bro. This no more anxiety i do have anxiety i feel like personal things but like with the recording videos no nah, it's not you don't give a it's shit it's natural like, now just just not yeah okay but it's like natural. say like go back a year mm. and a half i was kind of scared i'm not mm. gonna lie mm. but then i was just like because either this or nothing so did you have anything that like really backfired on you had some yeah really the heron foods prank i can't I, I keep getting off topic about yeah. it my bad. that's blessed man get back so i'm on. doing the prank i get caught the security guard catches me yeah he's like give me the uniform i'm like no it's mine He's like, we're not gonna let you leave unless you give me the uniform. Wow, really? And he's like, so this guy's trying to take it off me in it. And I'm with my boy, and we're like, okay, let's run. So we try and run. And the security, another security does there, so he stops us both. Yeah. And then this old white guy, bro, just wants to beef me, yeah. He just starts pushing me up a wall, yeah. So I push him back well, off. I, 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 no, no, bro, it was like, hella like, like I, I can't believe what happened after it happened. Yeah. It was so <laughs> like he had his arm on my neck, bro. Really? That's some mad shit, yeah. And it was just an old white guy, fam. I don't know what. Just for, for no reason. He was like, he's saving the public or something. Oh like that, yeah, he's like a white knight, wa wannabe hero, or whatever. Like, he's a, he's a joke, man, bro. His yeah, breath yeah. really smelled really bad. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, so he just got me like that, and then I push him off, and then you know, please come to take my details, whatever. Oh, the feds rock came as well. Yeah, they've come like three times, bro. They come to my house as well once, well, like two times. What What did they say? Because I jumped on the back of the bus. Oh my! And then they come for that. They gave me a warning saying, "Don't do that." And then, uh, you know banding from warsaw okay well don't get into that oh, we're, we're gonna get into that into that a little bit later so okay so you've had some run run-ins with the law as they say man you know the old bill and that so that okay that's that's very interesting yeah, fuck 12. Fuck 12. <laughs> Look at this guy's face. no remorse no regrets that's how we live life bro yolo for real yolo okay so in your aggressive compliments video yeah <laughs> This food it looks so good. Are you a fucking rapper? A rapper. What happened after those Scouse lads in Five Guys? Like they, oh. they, they look like they were ready to like bang you out, bro. They look, they um, look angry, bro. You know what it is? If they like when you do the prank, it's walked. Oh, simple as that. Nothing's really gone bad except that Heron Foods prank. Just, just that one mainly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just okay. that one, and that was a. Uh, that video will never get released. Mm. Never. Okay, well, I think you've been you've been quite fortunate then because. Have you heard of this cook geezer in Dallas who got shot for for what one of the pranks he'd done? I mean, that's, I've heard of it, but yeah. it's, it's America, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, it's America, but you know, guns over there, knives over here, bro. Like, do you ever think that could happen to you? Yeah, but that's why I like going out with my boys. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. nowadays, because I'm quite known. You know what I'm saying? In my neighborhood, mm -hmm. I go like round the street from my house. People know who I am. Like, I signed yeah. up someone's signature. I gave my signature to someone the other day. Oh, you gave your... Oh, shit, like, someone come and, like, yeah, recognise yeah. you? Yeah, I was washing cars, yeah, for, you know, um, his car washing business. Big up, big up, big up, big up, yes, big, up big up, big up. And then, um, mm. he just come up to us, he's like, can I give you a signature? I was like, yeah. But, um, yeah, rolling with my boys makes me feel a lot more safe, because mm. if something does happen, you know... You've um, got some, some backup that, there. handle it. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay, okay. So, are you, like, methodical before you shoot a video? So, like, you think about, okay, like, what sort of situations may pop off? 
I need I to do. Like, as, as long as I got my boys with me, like I got this one guy named T Loco. He'll like mm. slap anyone up if anything yeah, happens. T Loco, yeah, yeah T Loco, you know. Shout out T Loco. He sounds on it, bro. He was meant to come, but um, he just like got he, caught he, up with shit. Yeah. Um, some people would argue, yeah, that like filming these pranks in public could be like harmful or disrespectful. What's your like response to those people, and how would you make sure like your pranks don't cross any ethical lines? Okay, about the ethical stuff, I'm not really sure. I haven't really paid much attention. <laughs> but in terms of like affecting other people and how they feel about it, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. You gotta do so. And this is what I feel like you, I gotta do. Do you think like the the attention and what you're trying to achieve is like more important than maybe I, I i wouldn't say harming because you're not really physically hurting anyone like you know you just you just yeah i'm going up to no one slapping anyone, yeah no nah, no nah, you, you you ain't doing any of that but like i get what you mean though. yeah you, you like, I'm, I'm i'm trying to ask you as like a non-biased pie if if i was going to give you my bias i would say i think what you're doing is hilarious bruv like you know yeah, well. it's it's just it's just jokes and it, you know this geezer who who stopped you like they're just kind of snowflakes man like if you came up to me in australia and was like i love your top i'd be like yes man and then save you and that's a perfect yeah, reaction yeah i know but like do, but do you not just think like so many people just so miserable man like everyone like there is bro and like but it shows the difference between people like mm -hmm. who i am and they are yeah facts 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 because so, I, I, I mean like... i mean you did run up to a girl and say she, she's got a nice ass like <laughs> Your ass is massive. Okay. <laughs> Yo, that she is, let me grab it cool. though. Yeah, no, I was, I was like, literally, I was watching that video, taking notes for the podcast tonight, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> by the way, I'm not proud of that. But you're not proud of it. Uh, yeah, it's a hustle haram. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but uh, she let me do it though. But it was a good clip. Okay, that's haram. How uh, how much of a practicing Muslim are you? I'm not Muslim. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, you're Indian, innit? Punjabi. Punjabi my bro. bad, my bad. So I, just, uh, I, 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 like, I like the term haram, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like no, you know, I, I, I do as well. I mean, I'm not even fucking Muslim, but I like it. That's nah, haram. a lot of people mistake me for Muslim still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, do, do, does that piss you off? Or does that, like, do you just kind of like, oh, yeah, whatever? It depends. Say if someone says it in a racist way, then, you know, it'll piss me off. But, you know, how you just said it, it's mistaken, it's calm. Do, do you know that it's context? Everything is context, man. Like, you know, yeah, if someone calls you, she's like, oh, you're a dirty. Yeah, then that will piss me off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that that's saying. that's different. But like, I guess I guess it's also the same with the videos you do. It's all kind of context. Like, you know, you had some reactions which were like kind of like, oh, what the fuck? And then some were like, oh, do you want me to slap you up? Blah blah blah. So blah I take blah. him on your shoulder. You know what I'm saying? Take it is what shoulder. it is. Everyone's gonna react different. Mm. And I am like inflicting them to react a certain way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And do you do you think most of them are negative? The what I'm the, doing. The reactions. The reactions. Do you, do you reckon most of them are negative? I think so i mm -hmm. think it would be more negative than positive but we are working on that <laughs> we're working on it nah, guys i'm trying to bring a message to all of my videos like yeah i have this one video called kidnapping my friends which Fuck i you. know okay, okay. In, in hindsight like at first it was just to kidnap my friends and i was thinking how can i do something with this video yeah and then i think the whole message of the video is do not go out alone okay don't don't go out alone because yeah. there's a part where i like I get like 10 people to pressure this one kid. Scene, yeah, seriously. Yeah, that hasn't come out yet. Okay, that, 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 okay, but I guess this goes to like the ethical lines a little bit. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. You just follow but, um, that would be so like, don't go out alone, but like you're just going to put fear into people. You're just going to make people scared. Yeah, controversial, I know, bro. I'm still figuring it out on the way as we go. But um, that video's not out. That's in the plans, though, for my next couple of videos. Okay, bro. Where where do you where do you get these crazy ideas? Like aggressive compliments, going up to random birds, like... How much the fuck? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, how much? I think how much the fuck <laughs> is an original idea? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Excuse me. How much the fuck? What? How much the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, idea. it's it's original, but it's also like I was I was like, yo, where the fuck did this guy get this confidence? That's, from? that's exactly what the video was meant to do. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, and well, listen, if that if that was the aim, you succeeded with flying colors, my friend. That was it. I know you had me enticed, bro. Some people are not gonna be like, you going up to those ladies, asking them how much the fuck, like, be respectful and shit. Mm -mm -mm. I can't oh, like, no, 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 I, I ain't coming on that vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. But if anyone did tell me that, I'd be like, I don't care. But I understand yeah. your like opinion, but I just don't care. You don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's it's all sort of. That's all... part of it. Like doing what I do, you just 
can't care what these people think, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think I think that kind of that goes for anyone in like the content creation space because you have to have an element of like really not giving a fuck what people think of you because and i think that's how you make it bro yeah well no no it is it is like though that's what the biggest content creators are every successful person has hate has death threats has like oh bro i can't lie i've had a lot of like hate threats shit like yeah yeah no but it's gonna but like it's not in fam it's not in it's nothing man because like you know what i mean it's it's a bunch of um what's the word like no no display accounts on instagram no just trolls just trolls man and then then when you really deep it you think like you know these are people that are making fake accounts just to come along they can't show their face spend their time hating on you exactly and it's like bro go get your bread up man why 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 are you away fucking i don't pay no attention to hate still i can't Mm. lie Mm. that sometimes i do see that i see this quite a lot a lot of people tell me that my nose is really big Mm. i see that a lot still but um, I don't care what they think about my I've, nose. I've, I've seen worse noses. I've seen worse noses. I've seen worse noses. I broke, fam. I broke it. That's why it's bent you a bit. You broke it? Yeah, when I was like, like two years old. Did you get punched? Nah, nah. I was like two years old, yeah, on the edge of the sofa. I just fell on my nose. Fucking hell, bruv. That's, 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 that's... Still deep, remember bro. it happening, man. Okay, let, let's get to one of the, like, the hot topics, yeah. How the fuck? How the fuck? Do you get banned from Warsaw Town, bro? bro. How does bro. like I, I want every detail. I want every how it led up scenario. to that. What was the color of the sky? Was it raining? Tell me every fucking thing. All right, you. so I tell you how it started for us to like actually get banned from my whole town. Please tell me. So I made that first TikTok video, yeah. So I was out in Warsaw, just giving out flyers. Mm. I got these um flyers from my YouTube. I should have. Yeah, I've seen the red ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen them. So I was giving those out, and then this kid was like to me, "I subscribe if you do it there." Then I was oh, like, calm. Then I was like, just record it for me. And the first dare I do is jumping on the Mackie's counter, going behind it. Oh that was the first God. one I did, yeah. I posted it on TikTok, it blew up. The next day I went back and I just kept going and going, bro. And that's literally how I like kind of got my foundation, what I've got right now. Oh, so you started with that. Yeah, that's how it, oh. that's how like I was doing YouTube before that, but that's that that happened in January, and this January is like I'd say I've blown up the most in my whole career. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I kept going back. Um, I got very well known in Warsaw, like even the shops, like some shops wouldn't let me in there. Oh, did they recognize your face? Oh, uh, bro, like security guards would get onto me even from just walking around yeah, there. Yeah, really? She was getting mad. And then, um, so I did a meet up here <coughs> in Warsaw. Did you see that? I don't think I've seen that. So did like a lot of man turn up to that? Bro, so many people turned up. It was the craziest shit. Like still love to everyone who turned up. Big up, man. I didn't expect that many people to turn up, bro. There was mm. like 20, 30 people there waiting for me uh, outside the shop called The Swagger's King. So I, could, I don't know, I don't think I've heard Cause of Because they, they were like to me, yeah, um, if you will give you prime to give away and shit like that. So mm. they gave me shit to give away to these people. Mm-hmm. I told these people I'm doing a giveaway. Then on that day, bro, I just went really reckless, fam. Like, I was telling everyone to invade the stores, oh, jump on the my. counters with me. Like, the scenes were mad. I still oh haven't posted my. the full video. Why have you not posted that? <sighs> it's just it's legal reasons. Nah, or... like, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. Okay, gotcha. If it's just, not it's perfect, just... bro, it's just like... It's hard for me to put out there. Yeah, no, I think you suffer from like um, almost curse of the eyes. You want it to be like a little slight. You're like a perfectionist, would you say? Yes, yeah, like, because be... if it's not at a certain level anymore, I don't think it should yeah, be it's, even it's out. Not, it's not worth to be seen. Yeah. Well, I think that happens on like the journey of being a content creator. You know, you start up kind of shit and then, you know, you get better and better and better. And then you have like a standard of quality, like and if it's below. Also, bro, it's 2023, man. Yeah, that's true, man. I can't be posting nothing shit. Nah, nowadays. you can't, otherwise you're gonna get no views, man. And, no and one wants man. to watch something that's bad quality. Yeah, nah. Oh, okay, but then what, what what did that what did that feel like to you to have that like influence over other people to Bro, turn? They up? were following me, fam. Yeah. They were literally doing whatever I, I told say, them. Yeah, fam. yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. were like, uh, fuck the school that I went to. Because mm. you know, fuck my school. I don't even like them. Is, is that the school you broke into? But yeah, yeah, on that, the side that, that was my school. <laughs> <laughs> how, the, how how did you come up with that idea, bruv? Um I don't know, bro. I got ki- uh, basically I didn't get kicked out, but it was in 2020 when COVID happened. Yeah. So I kind of got cut short early. It was like um January year 11. Just got left school from there, fam. Just left school. That's from how. There, and then you? after that, I feel like my mind woke up and a lot of shit happened ever since then. Mm. But then I just had this idea, bro. Like I never got to go back for no prom or nothing. Mm. So like, I'm just gonna walk in there and just like chill for the day. Oh. And I had a sixth form uniform. Just put a face mask on, no one recognised me. I couldn't believe that video, man. Just walk straight in there. Okay, are you allowed to say what school or... or Yeah, it's called St. Thomas More Catholic School. Don't don't fucking say the school, mate. (laughs) I'm going to have to beat that out. Nah, it's blessed, man. Nah, nah, you know know what you know? It's in the video, you know what I'm saying? I I tell them what school it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fuck that school for real. Like, do you have, like, just a lot of bad memories there or whatever? I just felt like the teachers didn't do their job. And and, and was that in in Warsaw, was it? That's in Darlaston. 
Darleston. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. I don't live in Darleston. It's just, uh, you know, I live just around that area. Okay, so obviously, you know, you had all these men come down to the to the Warsaw Town Centre and that. Like, so basically what I was doing, I was telling these men to invade the stores of me, <laughs> run around everywhere. And then all the stores are linked in it. Mm. And they, they were all seeing me coming that There was just a big mob of people just running in and out of stores. Then they were just, I uh, started calling the feds. After that, everyone dipped. Mm. I took a photo with this whole family and a baby. That was fun. <laughs> After that, um, I jumped in my car, got home. I didn't think anything of it in it. I did. did get, I like, did you get arrested? No, no, no. I flee the scene, bro. <laughs> Someone told me the police are coming here. I was like, I'm gone, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck that shit. <laughs> and then um, I went home. Yeah, I didn't really think anything of it. But mm. I did know something was coming, bro. Because like, mm. I did a madness. Like, you'll see the clip. It's, it's mad. And, and then, then um and then obviously you got a letter from no nah, i was in the shower yeah and then my brother's like the feds are here and i'm like fuck sake bro like that's the scariest feeling from like why yeah. they i don't know why they were here though i thought it was about my car still i'm not gonna lie and then um i come out the shower as two ladies it's like you're banned from Warsaw. they give me the letter they're like <laughs> you're banned for a whole year it's like don't come back you'll get arrested if you get caught on site oh what that what i didn't L listen I think it's mad because I didn't even know you could get banned from, from, yeah, from neither, cities. Bro. I didn't even know that was a like, thing. It's not even how a city. How can you get banned? How do you get banned from, like, from a city? Bro, yeah, it's, it's a small town. Or a town. Or, yeah, yeah, like, that's how, how much they hate me, bro. How the fuck do you get banned? Like, <laughs> that's that's like, you know, that's like, you know, you get banned from like a Minecraft server, bro. <laughs> but like, <laughs> banned from a town. Literally. <laughs> you must have done some I have this idea, yeah. I just want to like put a disguise on as an old person. Just walk back through Oh water. my! <laughs> Go back in bro. the stores. <laughs> no, 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 but th like th this, like I was, I was talking to my, my brother about this, and I was like, "You have the legs to really go somewhere because you just have these ideas for for videos. Like you, you're like the kind of the old YouTubers when they were creating viral content, but like now, because a lot of YouTube is very saturated. But you've got really like original ideas and what you that. do, man. And you, you know, I think like you got the legs to go and do something like even just that. Then like you and an old man with like a fucking face mask yeah, or just, something. Just don't be scared, man. Like they'll mm. arrest me, but like probably for like a day. For like a day. Yeah, no, well, you, you ain't gonna get in. They'll serious, probably fine serious, me, you know, actually. Yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll probably fine you yeah, like a lot of peas, but um, that's long still. I ain't yeah. trying to pay no. Yeah, no, nah, <laughs> no one is, man. I just run away after ca catch me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, boom. Imagine this year. All right, the alarm rings. Yeah, in the early in the morning. You're rubbing your eyes, you wake up, yeah. Can you please describe a typical day as 24 as a YouTuber and coming up with the ideas for posting videos? What's a typical day, bro? A typical day? Um, I wake up. Um, I don't really have a usual time I wake up. Mm. It's normally from Is like... Is it a rough time? Six to like one. Between six and that's, some day, that's some quite day, a big range, bro. <laughs> some days it's one, like some days yeah. it's six, some days it's nine. It's really mm. just whatever time I go to sleep the night before. Yeah. Anyway, I wake up straight away, go have a shower, um, brush my teeth, I make a cup of tea. I'm in love with tea, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm addicted to tea. That's just, that's the uh, British born in you there, bro. I yeah. hate that about me. I'm gonna switch to coffee. <laughs> anyway, I drink tea, I'll uh, sit down, then I'll just plan out like what I have to do today. But every day is different. After that, I'll probably read, work out. Then I'm either working on TikTok clips, YouTube videos, planning out the day, helping my brother with music, mm -hmm. helping my bro with his business. We'll all link up. We'll talk about ideas. There's not really like one thing I stick to every day. Mm -hmm. It's just something different. Is it like day. general planning of how can I make more like sort of it's videos? Like I have requirements ideas. I have to do every day, like read, work out, mm -hmm. post three TikToks, make four TikToks, write okay. down loads of ideas. So you got like a list of non-negotiables that you have yeah, to. Yeah, I like, have to have, do this shit. To do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I do smoke there and then. Yeah, the no, no, but like, okay, listen, look, we, we we all got our own devices, man. I I ain't judging you on that. No one else is judging you on that. But I think like the key takeaway from that is you, you've got like a set, like you've got three to five things you have to do every day. And, and, yeah, like, and then like, like, that keeps up I'm still not satisfied after that. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, videos nowadays, they take a long time to record. They so do, they I'm do. Not I'm not recording the whole video in a day. I'm recording different parts this day. I'll probably record um, the kidnapping video, then 10 ways to make money. Mm. And then I'm what focusing on this camping video soon. Mm. So there's a lot of planning, a lot of recording. But no, no, but that, that's that's besides the point, bro. Like it's the fact that you're doing small little chunks every day. That will like compound, it's like bro. That one you know step I mean? every day. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> one step every day, man. And then you know you look back after 100 days you've walked a marathon bro do you know what i mean and you know you're a lot further ahead than when you know if you would have just woke up smoked weed and just played playstation or just oh bro i saw just... my playstation like oh, there's, did you? there's nothing i do yeah i probably accept smoke 
that's time I chill. Like, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Even, even when I'm smoking, I'm working. You're working, yeah. No, but like, but that, that's what I mean. Some, some, I've met some people who work really well when they smoke, man. Do you know what I mean? And it's just a way to just chill out their mind. But I've like, like I said, we will have a shit out of my mind, man. Isn't it stress? Yeah, yeah. I you need relax. to just take the edge off a little bit. So, like, do you have a job? Like, do you work a day job then? Uh, I used to work at McDonald's. Mm. Fuck McDonald's again for firing me. <laughs> Fuck McDonald's. Yeah, I'm gonna raid that store as well. Like that has to be <laughs> done. I know it's negative, but it just has to be done for what they did to me. Okay, but like the one in Warsaw or, or uh, Dallas. It was in Willenau. Willenau. And um, yeah, so um, I was doing loads of videos. I was kind of blowing up in this process, but I was kind of going in the back of McDonald's. I oh, was jumping on the counter at Mackey's. Oh my fucking. And God. then the managers at Mackey's saw they snitched on me. I went through this whole meeting. They had like photos, like screenshots. They printed them off of me yeah. on my TikTok, and then they eventually fired me. Yeah, but it's McDonald's, bro. Like, nah, I can't like. But that, that was my peas, bro. That was your pe- okay. So how are you making peas now? Nah, uh, just, just ways, bro. Just ways, and it's just ways, and yeah, you anyone, you guys don't need to know that. Just get rich or die trying. What's that? Get rich or die trying. That's it. That's the vibe. That's the vibe. Okay. T- tell me about home life in the control house because obviously, you know, there's a lot of creatives going on there. Your brother's an artist. Obviously, we've had him on as well. Like, And then I've seen your conservatories full like, of loads studio, of man. Studio, yes, sir. Studio. So t- t- <laughs> tell me about like the creative control house. Basically, me and my brother. The thing about me and my brother, he's a rapper, I'm a YouTuber, mm-hmm. and we're in the same household. Mm-hmm. So we just bring all these other people to our houses. I mean, not to our houses, our house. We bring these people here, our boys. Mm-hmm. Other people as well have to have different skills. Mm-hmm. Just working, bro. Everyone brings something different. Like my boy's a graphic designer. Other boy's a um, car. Um, he washed cars. Mm-hmm. Other boy, uh, what does he do? Do YouTube. My bro knows people who do music. Mm-hmm. And every day there's someone there still. I'm not going to lie. Every day something's happening. And is that your, that's like your yard, is it? Yeah, everything. Yeah. It's kind of bad, I'm not going to lie. So many people have been to my yard. It's not good. No, nah, like, we, we've, we've had a lot of similar sort of shit like we I, we can understand that as well but like i think the main thing there is that you know you're you're pulling loads of people with different skills into one place yeah and then that's when you build some mastermind kind of hive mastermind hive because 10 minds together thinking of one thing is better than just one do you know what i mean yeah man we're just mm. planning for long mm. no I, I i rate that and like is it like do you live with your mom or your parents or is it like just your own uh yard? my mom my younger brother and my older brother your older brother okay okay that's it that's interesting okay bruv do you do you like suffer from any like mental conditions like <laughs> i know i know i i i i don't mean that in a disrespectful way i mean that like, genuine i just get shut up bro. i know bro yeah, i didn't do, take do, it that way yeah fam. thank you thank you he, he's just irate, i just thought bro. like you're acting you... like asking if i'm depressed weird no no like no like weird question I'm, i was more along the lines of maybe like adhd or <laughs> <laughs> um to my knowledge i have not been diagnosed, I mean, nothing, been diagnosed. but I've, I, I like to clean. I like shit clean, so I feel like I have OCD a little OCD bit. OCD a little bit, yeah. Little organization. But nah, this crazy side you see off me, I can't lie. It's a character I play. Ca- yeah, okay, that's interesting. That's in, that's, in, that's interesting. But I, I I sometimes feel that, like, people who are characters and stuff, like, you know, that they... I, I'm not talking about, like, depression or anxiety, you know. Like, nah, that's, I that's, like, that's, like, that's like, the, you know, we got, I got shit on my mind that I think yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I feel like, you know, a lot of us do. And I, 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 I don't want to delve into the sad violin. I'm talking more about, like, like ADHD or like being kind of, like, on the scale. Like, not not autism. But... You know what? I think, <laughs> I, no, I think, yeah, I have a little bit of bipolar. Bipolar, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's just, like, sometimes my moods just switch, bro, and I'm so, just, like... Like, what? you feel, like, angry, happy, sad, like... Yeah, it just switches, fam. Yeah. And maybe that is, like, how... Depends on how I act in the video, I don't know. I mean, it, it But maybe probably, that's just, like... I don't know, that's not... It probably just enough. adds, like... I don't know, sauce to it. Do you know what I mean? Nah, yeah, no. Nah. Sauce. From the bipolar thing. What's something, yeah, your viewers don't know about you, which you wish they did? Hmm. Hmm. What don't they know about me, but I wish they did. Mm. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> you should have told them girls that on that Valentine's date, bruv. <laughs> I'm Whoa, a nice guy. I hope they think I was a nice guy. Date. Ain't none of them coming back for a second date. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I'm doing Valentine's Blind Dates Part 2. It won't be Valentine's Day. It'll be Blind Dates Part 2. Blind Dates Part 2. I'm yeah. going to have a bunch of virgins get under. Oh, my fucking... Like, how, how, how are you going to test yeah. them to be virgins? How, how are you I just know, know some man them who are virgins, bro. <laughs> 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 you know oh, <laughs> wait. So you mean you're going to get other man to go on the blind dates? Like, no, not no. You. Not, yeah, it won't be me this time. Oh, I see. So I see. this time I it will be set up into like a show kind of way. Okay. Kind of like the side men thing. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Like, like yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Exactly. 
Okay, yeah, no, no, I, I can, I can, I can definitely fuck with that. Can you describe, yeah, a moment or experience which like fundamentally changed the way you see the world or like about yourself? So when I left school, bro, like, so I don't know what happened, school. yeah, but I just feel like my mind switched on to all these things like money's important, take care of your mom, mm. you can't live here forever, you know, read, get some knowledge in you, don't be stupid. Mm. The things I do, I know look stupid sometimes, but it's all calculated. But, but it's it's behind it's, the scenes, it's, it's calculated. calculated. Yeah, Everything is calculated. But like, I, I, watching your videos, I, I kind of got that from you. Like, I knew that wasn't... You, I knew you would like as soon as the camera's on, you're like, you're this crazy kind of guy. And as soon as the yeah. camera's off, you're like, okay, that scene didn't look good. Blah, exactly blah, blah, like blah, 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 blah. And I, I almost like, I, I don't, um, I, I don't know how, how I mean this, but when I see that, I think it's like a wavelength thing. And like certain people on the wavelength will get that. And then m most other people will just be like, oh, this guy's just a retard. He's just like, you know, they yeah, just they kind of see. That's what I want, yeah. People to like see through that shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, that's not me. Mm. It is he, me. He, he produces all the um the videos himself. Like he edits all the videos himself. Oh, you edit all the videos yourself. I edit, record, write the content, the script, okay, whatever, no, everything, no. and then I have my boys there and then to help me record it. Mm. See, but like the, the, I think I think what you said there is coming back to my last question. I said like, what do you want your viewers to know about you, which they may not know? And that see is, through the YouTube stuff. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Look at me as a person. I know, but unfortunately, like eighty percent of people will just take you from surface value, my friend. Do you know what I mean? And exactly. they won't they won't they don't have the brain capacity to dig a little bit deeper. But then I feel like it's person. up to me to show them that. It side. is it is up to you and like I think that that kind of links me to like another question. It's like what sort of content do you want to divert to? Do you wanna stay on this like co comedic clown joker or do you wanna to go to something more serious? Or are you not sure yet? I want to provide inspiration. Mm. provide education where i can mm. but still keep this menace keep the that, menace. it doesn't i know it kind of doesn't make sense but i don't think no one's done it before but i want to have the education the inspiration the happy the funny yeah and then the menace where i just don't give a fuck yeah yeah And yeah. if i can combine that and just find a perfect way to put it out mm. that's what i'm trying to do I, I i i personally think you will i think like you know this this whole journey <sighs> for you take you know it's a it's a learning curve man you're gonna learn as as you go as, I, as I get older you know what i'm saying as you get older and wiser you'll make different types of content but you'll be building a fan uh, base along the way i feel like yeah i want to teach people in my neighborhood mm -hmm. like you can do it you know what i'm saying like, yeah yeah you can. the neighborhood is not just what it is mm. it's not just life and that's why i believe you're gonna go far man because you got like the mindset for it and not even jack the the ambition to want to pursue it but bro that's on my mind 24 7 bro mm. Mm, mm. But there you go, man. That's why you're waking up doing like these little things at every sort, every fucking every day. day, every day, grind. There's day. not one day where I relax, and if there is, I'll be pissed off at myself. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's similar to your brother because he goes every day. I'm just in the studio, bro. Yeah, me and I got to work, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I get it off him, so I'm not gonna lie. Mm. He has shown me the way. Like, is you know. is, is is he not? Is he younger than you? <laughs> is it, or is he, are you, are you twins? He's older than. <laughs> nah, he's older than me, bro. He's always older than you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's two years older than me. Wait, so wait, you're 24. Nah, G. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 18. You're 18? 18. Oh, see. The 24 man. is just uh, my birthday. Your birthday, okay. So why, why did you change your name from 24, to, okay, oh, from Grand so Control to 24? My first name, first of all, I'm not going to get into this, but my mom just didn't like me using my whole name. Oh, she didn't okay. like that. Yeah, and gotcha, gotcha. For a while, I didn't even like using it, but is there something that I made my channel in 2012 and my name was Ryan Control because mm -hmm. I didn't really know what to change it, but I always wanted like an Elias for something. Like a like a um, internet a personality name, stage name. That's it, yeah, stage name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I could never think of anything, bro. But then, like, I started to look into the number twenty-four. I'm not really sure why. I just started to love it, and like, I realized I feel like it has greatness. You know, um, Kobe Bryant. Mm. His number is twenty-four. Twenty-four. Me you know Messi's birthday. Is it twenty-fourth? Twenty twenty-fourth of June. Twenty-fourth. Drake's, oh, Drake's birthday is on the 24th. Okay. So Everything you, 24, bro. I just feel like it's empowered in it. Mm. And then my mom told me, I was showing her this design I made for my um, banner on YouTube. She was like, I don't like it. And I was like, why? She was like, because you're using, you know, my full name and whatever. Mm. And I was like, it's time to make the switch. And then it's turned to 24. Turned to 24. Okay, I, so it's got some history there. And yeah, yeah, it's taken the time to get up to it. But, you know, it's my first debut as 24 right 24. now. Okay, no, I, I like that. I thought you were just going to be like, oh, I like the number 24. But, like, you okay, so you got a bit of a, a, Everything of a has to have meaning. You know, yeah, no, no, nah, nah, it does. And, I, like, I think for me, like, that's why when I see people with, like, certain tattoos and they've got a story behind it. like, my, I, It's I think, my only tattoo here. Yeah, no, but, like, I, I respect that because it's, like, there's a reason and a story behind oh, show it. Show us yeah. the tattoo. Show us the yeah, tattoo. Go, go Can on, you show, see it? Wait, show, show, show. Is it this yeah, side? Yeah, turn, turn to the camera. Brother. This I side. Yeah, my hair's 24. 
Yeah, so, uh, Iman. Oh, shit. Mike, can you see it? Is it on that side? Yeah, so it's on that side. You've got to turn that way. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's I'm not going to get like a 6 9 done, you know, like. Yeah, nah, obviously not. Well, I mean, if unless you've got reasons for it, then yeah, I guess I guess it could work in it. But um, I would like to get other toes. Yeah, no, you listen, you, you I, I reckon you de- you definitely, definitely will. You said you wanted a face tattoo, innit? Yeah, I'm not going to lie, I get inspiration from Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne's the best rapper alive, I have to say that. Is that why you asked those those girls in the uh, in the interview? Well, not interview, your date, about Lil Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, do I talk about him that much? <laughs> well, listen, I'm just, I just, I'm a researcher, bro. I like to research everyone. Nah, I'm that happy that up. you know this, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. What sort of role do you think humour and, like, lightheartedness plays in, like, this sort of serious issues? And do you do you think being this kind of comedic joker is, like, to help people who may feel in a kind of a dark place or um, feel a bit low in life and they, they need a bit of comedic relief. Is that like a w- reason why you do your content? I wouldn't say the main reason is just to make people laugh. Mm. It's, I'd say inspiration, but the way I do it is just in a comedic way. In a comedic way, yeah. That's just the way I've... If that's your outlet that's, for it. That's how I've adopted it. Yeah, gotcha. And, you know, I feel like, I'm not going to lie, I feel like I always wanted to be liked in school and it. Mm. And I always found out that being funny was just the way the like the avenue for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just yeah, adopted yeah. being funny, and it's just, no, it's just part mm. of me. And yeah, it does make people laugh. You know, some people <clears> tell <throat> me to watch my video, make them laugh. They're like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Mm. Gives them inspiration. But like, yo, if you can do that, I can do what I want, and that's mainly what I want to do. Mm. That's mm. it. I respect that. I respect that. I think you know you got you got like a a true hide mission behind like kind of what you do. Yeah, and I need to conquer life, man. You know, yeah, no, 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 no. Life is the game. Just getting doing all these side missions. Big fucks. How do you balance the desire to like entertain people and make them laugh with like the responsibility to be like a positive influence and role that's model? That's only recently hit my mind. Yeah. Like only in the past two months. That's why I've only like released like one video, I think, mm. which is bad of me, I know. But mm. I've just been having this conflict in my mind, bro. Just trying to figure out where's the line, mm. you know what I'm saying, in between mm. that. But I'm trying to focus more on the positivity now. Mm-hmm. I just want to do that. I just want to do something good for the people, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I just don't want to like have this bad cloud around me around my name i think that's kind of what we were just saying there it's like you know bruv you're on this journey and you're gonna learn the the do's and do nots as you know you create keep um creating more and more videos you're gonna see more whether that big red line is not to cross and then you'll know kind of how to direct your content for the future and be that positive influential role model that you like to be and still find ways to be comedic but as like i'm the menace but I'm also positive. Yeah, you're a positive menace. That's it. <laughs> I gotta see, but that's just like juxtaposition in it. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, even yeah. make sense. But that's that's what I'm trying to go for. That's why yeah. he's Robin is. Hood. It's Robin fucking Hood. Man. I don't even know what Robin Hood does, man. <laughs> you don't know Robin Hood. I know who he is, bro. But I'm more Not into even. like, Yo. you know, um, steal from the rich, give to the poor. You don't oh, know shit, none about yeah, that. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't listen in school though. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Listen, if you don't listen in school. Be a YouTuber, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. This, 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 this is this is just go chase your dreams, bro. Fuck school. <laughs> Fuck school. I'm not Fuck taking school. my kids to school. <laughs> Are you not? Nah. What? What? How, how are you gonna raise your kids? Like, homeschool. Through books. Through books. Yeah. Nah. Books. I I can I can respect that. I can respect that. You're gonna deprive your kids of an education. They're gonna be retarded, mate. Bro. Nah. They will go there, yeah, to learn simple maths and simple literacy. After that, like, they don't need to go to learn science. To to, to be honest, I've. I, I knew someone who worked in a school and they were showing me some of like the material of um like what they were teaching kids and it was, it was it was all or... about no no but it, it's crazy it was all about like all like different sexualities and, and stuff like that in, oh, in a I book. Made a, and I, I saw the book I made a TikTok on that the, the other day bro there was I like a whole list yeah I saw the book of all these different sexualities I'm like why does a seven eight year old need to know anything about that bro when I left mm. school I was fucking I couldn't even read properly yeah. Couldn't even write properly. I had to, it was more self learning than self taught, and that's why I was pissed off at school because I mm. never actually learned that. Mm. Mm. But you know, I'm okay with it now. Mm. Okay, so finally, yeah, what 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 do you hope to achieve through your YouTube channel and content and create? I, I know you've kind of touched on it a little bit, but I like to like to delve a little bit deeper. Like, what 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 is the end goal for 24? Like, what like how many subscribers do you have? What's your lifestyle looking like? And what is your message to your audience? The message is. You can do it, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I feel like my kids will watch this back mm. when I do have them, whenever that is. I'm not ready for kids yet. But, you know, like, look what I started. Look where I'm at. Mm-hmm. 
You can do that. I'm no different from you. And where is look where I'm at? Like, what does that look like to you? Where look where I'm at? Yeah, what does that look Being like? Being in the Matchbox you? podcast. <laughs> this is just bop, a start. Bop, bop, bop. This is the start, bro. Yeah, Hopefully, yeah. I can return after you know, you know, everyone gets a few bigger. years. After we all get bigger, man. Yeah. But yeah. um, and go where is it? In Dubai. My Dubai. Mom. I've I've been interested in Dubai as well. Yeah. yeah. My mom, my brother, my friends, my family, mm. wifey, everything good. Nice base in Dubai. Yeah. I just want to be financial freedom. That's it, bro. And time financial freedom. freedom that's it. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I'm making content to people, so I will have a big influence in. Mm-hmm. I'm probably the next couple of generations. Yeah, you know you. So will. that's what I'm trying to lock on right now, and what I'm putting out, what I'm telling people to do, mm. the messages I'm giving. Mm. But overall, I just want to be at the top, and I'm not gonna lie. After this career, after my YouTube career, I'm gonna dive into music. But that's. That, shit, that 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 was kind of going to be like one of my questions in there, but I forgot to ask it. Like, do you do you like do you write bars? I do, bro, but it's very. Uh, it's, I don't know how to say it. it's very in the foundation form right now. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I've been doing it for a while, but it's just something that I have planned later for my career. Mm. Like, my career is gonna start off with this YouTube thing. Mm. I'm not really sure how it's gonna go on for, but eventually I will just make a big transition. Big transition. And I'm saying that now because when I do it, you'll just know when it happens in it. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I respect that. I respect the reason that. why I won't show nothing now or even go tell people that I do music or whatever, I'm working on my skill, bro. Yeah, I fuck with that, like that in, intention a lot, man. I, I, I understand that on a level. And you know what I'm saying? I think, yeah, just there's, 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 there's no point. I don't want to be a YouTube rapper. I will, mm. I will not have that attached to my name. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will yeah. not have that attached to my name. Well, if if anything, if you you know you spend a few years building your YouTube channel and you have an audience, and then all of a sudden you start whacking out but fire then, tunes. But do the, you know the what things mean? that like the things on my YouTube channel as well, like it's showing who I am in it. Mm-hmm. So the things I show now and everything I do will lead up to that moment. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, and it will benefit. Look at KSI, bro. Perfect example. Now I think he's alright. He's nice. I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. He, like he's done good. Everything he's done is mad. I can't believe it. But like I still think he's a YouTube rapper. Oh you, oh, you do? Oh, I don't think that difference is there, fam. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think no one's really done it. So, okay, so maybe you're there to pave the way, the first person. To now, people it, are right? doing it. Like, DDG, he's kind of, like, bridging the gap a little mm. bit. KSI bridged the gap. What do you think of um uh, Let, Let Me Land and Kanking? Who? Kanking, Let Me Land. Have you, oh, uh, it is what it is, but nothing's the same. Side thing, one of the greater than me. Yeah, oh, uh, I think it's a joke. <laughs> I'm not here to talk about to bitches. Talk shit, yeah. I'm not here to talk about. I will talk about my riches and yeah, yeah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I want to have real shit. A deeper message, bro. Like shit, I've been growing up with my experiences, mm. and just um, yeah. I feel like talking to the mic. I can tell it anything. Mm-hmm. And with the videos, I just want to inspire something. Good. Okay. Well, we're gonna wrap up this podcast with a little bit of a. Twitter Hall of Fame. I want some reactions from you, my friend. Why? <laughs> this guy. What are we Why? doing? Why? I'm gonna I'm gonna read out some just Twitter tweets. <laughs> you're thinking like shit. What did I do in this fucking town? I'm all shit. Shit. What's going on? I thought, I thought you caught, caught nah, something about nah, me. Nah, 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 brother. Nah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I mean, I mean that that could be a segment actually. I could just start cussing people. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that could be hilarious, blood. What you say? Yeah, yeah, but nah, nah. I I, I ain't doing that. I got love for you, bro. Don't Appreciate worry about that, it. Bro. I'm I'm just gonna read out fucking mad tweets and i want you to just like well we're just gonna just chat about them. okay all right so uh, this this is the first one yeah all right if you're cremated after you die you could be put into an hourglass and continue to participate in family game night bro. <laughs> you know what my my uh, reaction and opinion of that is yeah. when i die and if i'm put into ashes yeah i want my boys to smoke me in a split <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna taste nasty blood. You know, too, that's what happened to Tupac. That's what yeah, fuck. He got off. smoked. No, he didn't. Bro, bro, on he God. got smoked. On God. He got smoked by his bedroom. Yeah, yeah. Literally, but that's, literally that's, got smoked by his bedroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, that you don't need to do that to your boys. You know what I'm saying? Shit. But yeah, that's how I want to go out. If I fucking hell, man. Okay, I I I don't I don't even know that, man. All right, moving on. This is a tweet from Sarah K. Ronalds. You want me to get a husband? The thing that killed me every everyone on oh shit, shit. every the thing ah oh, blah 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 I'm, I'm gonna just move, move on from that. <laughs> that, that, that that one was a bit dead anyway carry on <laughs> adulthood yeah is emailing quote unquote sorry for the delayed response back and forth until one of you dies deep deep what do you think of that bro it's true 
It's, it's true. true. Like, how, how many times your brain's like, oh, yeah, we'll go do this, we'll go do this, and I ain't seen you in time, and then you just left undelivered for like two weeks. Uh, that's me, though. I'm not, that's me. That's <laughs> is, that, is that you as well? I'm him. Still, like, yeah. I'll be texting these men, they ain't replying, but you know what? We've got a group chat now, yeah, because we're all trying to stay like focused on what everyone's doing, mm. make sure everyone's good, make sure everyone's on track. So, yeah, I'd say make a group chat with your bros, fam. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah group, group chat, chat with the bros. I mean, but even then, it's still useless, bro, because we'll be like, oh, yeah, let's go do this. And then it rah, right, fucking never happens. I mean, like, if everyone's talking in the group chat, they're going to be like, what? Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right, so we, we've got, we got uh, another tweet from at Ben Tono 10 and he goes, so today I was looking at a girl because she had a piece of lettuce in her hair and she looks at me and said, I have a boyfriend. Okay, lettuce head. Is that what the guy said back to the girl? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, is it meant to be a pun? No, no bro, that's, that's just that's just shit that happens. Bro. <laughs> nah, I had a, I had like a story like that with a girl fam. Um, I was trying. You got a story? I was trying to text this girl, yeah. I was trying to chat to her, and uh, I sent her a, a text her saying that the grass is green today. Don't you think? <laughs> and, bro, I got so cursed by everyone. It was, and you know, nothing ever happened after that, and it was just fumble. <laughs> that was like in year nine, bro. And I was like, the sky is so blue today. <laughs> the sky is so blue. Is that your is that your Riz, that your Riz bro, game, bro? My Riz game was weak. My bros helped my Riz game still. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> they gave you lessons in that, yeah. Bro, they gave me lessons, fam. Shout out to Callum and shout out to Jake. They both gave me lessons on how to use it. Okay, okay. We, we got another one from Cohen is a ghost. Most cutting thing you can say is quote unquote, who's this clown? Because it implies they're A, a clown, and B, not even one of the better known clowns. Not gonna lie, bro, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> well, you're either, you're either the clown or you're just not like the clown. So you clown. everyone's a clown? Oh, well, they're apparently this, this fucking Cohen is a ghost geezer is, yeah? I have no idea what that means. You got no, you got no idea at all? <laughs> Okay, okay, well, well moving on. No, we've, we've got, we've got for the skis of such. Hi, Grandma. Can, can you come pick me up from my rap battle? battle? It's over. over. No, no, I lost. He, he saw you drop me off, and he did a pretty devastating rhyme about, about it. No, I didn't get that one. Either, nah, yeah, that, that, I didn't that, get that, that, that one. Either, that, that one, that one kind of flopped. I can't <laughs> even lie. I can't, I can't even lie. That one kind of flopped. Okay, we got another one from Amina. I don't even know what this fucking bitch is called. And At the know, gym, I said subscription instead of membership, and the girl replied with "lol." This is this ain't a pharmacy, bitch. That's a prescription. We're both stupid. She's right. Yeah. yeah she, do, you, do you think she's right? There's both a subscription, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> subscription to the gym, bro. You subscribe to the gym. You pay it every month, just like you subscribe to the events. I think. I don't know. I don't really go to the gym. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so we we'll, we'll get we'll do a couple more. We've got you know, Josh was just like laughing at himself last night, looking at all of these yeah, thinking no. of jokes, and you just don't find right, it funny. Yo, that was number twenty-four, yeah. And I was, uh, well, this this is number twenty-four right here. Okay, ho one. hopefully this is a good one, man. It's got to be a good one, man. Okay, this is one from Bowling at Colingo. Colin got jokes. I forgot you can't make depression jokes outside of Twitter. Lamau. My coworker was like, hash, a quote unquote, you ready for this year to be over? I was like, I'm ready for this life to be over. He was like, bro, what? Nah, I did not get it, bro, again. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting these jokes. He's got the number 24, bro. I was, I was, I was expecting it to be good, man. Number 24. I was just, anyway, guys, fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. This has been your host, Jay Pons. Yes, with sir. Mr. 24 Thank sitting next me, to me. I appreciate it's it, right, man. It's nice to meet you there, man. Nice to meet you there as well, man. We'll see you on the next fucking podcast and we're signing out. Bang. Test. <laughs> You're listening to the best. I ain't an average dropper, so I say that with chest. I'm stuck on time, one five to make it rhyme. These are the words and the lyrics on the top of my mind. I'm coming high and mighty with a flavor so spicy. <laughs> with a flavor so spicy, I'm making my dough, I'm making my pee. Now we're aiming for the top, now the top you see.